Is there anything that you can say as far as creating a daily winning routine for writers so they can actually get their scripts written in a timely fashion, uh, which is that that's the key point, timely fashion, (laughs) because you can write one sentence a day and that's a routine, you know, but that's not really going to help you out. So what would you suggest? Okay. Well, I would suggest doing something other than what a lot of people in my classes have done before I've met them. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that is that they it takes them years to write a script, uh, not months, years. That's a and lot. I'll yes, I'll meet someone. Let's say I'll meet someone in, you know, New York. They they come to my class and they tell me I wrote this script. It took me three years to, to get it to this point and blah, 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 whatever. And I'm almost done. Mm-hmm. I'm almost done with it. And I'll see them again the following year at a class. And I'll say, how did it turn out? I'm almost done with it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <Thank yeah. her. laughs> I, I, I've, I've, I've interviewed enough professional screenwriters and I've spoken to enough and I've done enough writing myself to know that professionals don't do that. No. Professionals just do the work. They take three to six months tops to write a screenplay. Most of the times even faster than that. And they just go, and it's just a machine, and you just keep writing, and you and you just keep going. This whole well, like, this is the only script I'm working on for three years. You're done. You're just not. Yeah. You're done. Well, what are you gonna do next time? I mean, right? Another you know, three years? Let's, like, let's say it turns out great. Yeah. You go to a studio. Sure. They love it as a sample. They they say we're not gonna buy it. We're not gonna make this movie, but we love it, and we think you're unbelievably talented. Uh, we want you to take a crack at this project. The next Iron Man. <laughs> yes. What do you no, what are you gonna do? Tell them, well, let's see, it's twenty nineteen now. What are you doing in twenty twenty two when I have the first draft done? They're gonna throw you out. Right. So uh okay. To answer your question, staying on track is a function of having a fantastic outline. Yes. If you you create that outline and you have it it's increments that are manageable. You know, I, I don't Think outlining in your head is great. Thinking is great. Put it down in some form. Either, you know, look, uh, a program like Final Draft has the index card uh, function. Yes, it's great. Buy index cards. You can, and that's what I suggest people do. I actually like the physical cards because there's something about writing out a card, holding it, and tacking it up on the wall. But if that's what you're going to do, then write a card at a time. Look at the wall and say, you know, the next thing in my outline was this chase scene. I'm going to write that chase scene right now. And if it takes me all day to do it, well, I can go to sleep tonight looking at myself in the mirror when I'm brushing my teeth. And I can say I did what I set out to do today. I did accomplish that thing. It might be two cards. It might be five. It might be one. I don't know what it is for, for you. But if you have a great outline and you stay on that plan... You can't. You cannot help but get to the end. 